좋아요와 구독 눌러주세요. 1 b i t e for Ori and 2 b i t e s for me. It's so yummy, Quack Quack. Mm. I can make a heart-shaped b o n g t i k i Want to see? Uh -huh. Ta-da! It's a heart-shaped b o n g t i k i That's a really pretty heart. Yeah, I can make a star-shaped one too. Now one more bite. <gasps> What? What happened to my star-shaped b o n g t i g i Oh, and my heart-shaped b o n g t i g i too. I worked so hard on these. They suddenly broke. I think instrument monsters did this. Instrument monsters? Let's check. Go, go, monster! There are instrument monsters nearby. Stop that right now! You're a l s o d i who took our friends! <gasps> sound, 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 sound attack! attack. <laughs> Wait! Wait! Ha! Not so fast! It's my turn now! Go, go, monster phone! Ah! Hey. Uh -oh. no! I caught the monsters! Let's go to the Room of Wonder! They were very rough instruments. Let's take a look at what kind of instruments they are and find out their names. Okie dokie. Let's start with the smaller one. Mm, this instrument looks like a musical note. There's a long neck connected to a small round box. One side of the box is empty. If you go straight up along the long neck, here are two round sticks. What are those? There is a string in between the box and the sticks. There are two strings, not one. Do we play with this? Let's take a look at the other instruments. Hmm, this one looks familiar. A long wooden body with many strings? Oh yeah, it's similar to Kayagum and Gongo we saw last time. The bird foot shaped wooden bridge and tightrope stack of strings are similar to the ones we saw in Kayagum and Gongo. I wonder what it is. The more I see these instruments, the more curious I become. First of all, Let's check this one. There are two strings. How do you make sounds? Try plucking the strings, Quack Quack. The strings? Okay. I'll hold the instrument like this and pluck the strings. There's barely any sound. Do I tap the body? Hmm. I don't think this is it either. Ding dong, I can help you. Ding dong! This is a rubbed stringed instrument. You can make sounds by rubbing the strings. The strings are tied around small sticks called jua. Try rubbing it with a bow. Oh! So, you're using this bow to play, like a violin? I think so. Sorry, try it. I'll hold it like this, and... Oh, this 
sounds thin and high. What about the other instrument? This one looks like kayagum and komungo. Then should we pluck the strings to make sounds like kayagum? Hmm. I'll try. Hmm. It makes some sound, but it's not easy to play with your hands because the strings are thicker and harder than the kayagum. I think. We need a tool to help us make the sound like the first instrument. Ding dong. That is correct. This one is also a rubbed stringed instrument. It's an instrument that makes sounds by rubbing strings with a bow. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's use this bow to make sounds. It sounds heavier and lower than the first instrument. are completed. What are the names of these two instruments that are played using a bow? The names of these instruments are Hagen and Ating. These instruments making sounds with a bow were Hagen and Ating. But there are only two strings in Hagen, right? So you can only make two notes? Ding dong, I'll tell you about it. Hegum can hit various notes changing where on the strings you hold and how strong you pull the strings, just like this. Wow! It's amazing that he can make so many different notes with just two strings. There was no mark of where to hold the instrument. That's right. It's difficult to make perfect pitch with Hegum so you have to practice hard to play well. It looked easy, but it wasn't at all. I'm curious about the music played with Hegum. Hit it, ding dong. Hegum sounds like ging, ging, so exciting. Hegum sounds exciting and cheerful when played fast. But it sounds sad when it's played slowly. Yeah, amazing. Then what kind of instrument is ajing? uses a bow to make sounds just like Hegum. But the sound is much louder and heavier. Ajeng is the lowest pitched instrument among traditional stringed instruments of Korea. Let's listen to the music played by Ajeng. <laughs> Heavy sounds. Today's instruments cards are completed. They are rubbed stringed instruments that makes a sound by rubbing the strings with a bow. Each makes high and low notes. The names of these instruments are Hegum and Ajeng. Hegum and Ajeng join Osori song. Let's listen. <laughs> 